say? Because nobody's taking it that fucking seriously. Just tell people that fucking Darth Maul has taken over the tournament, he's trying to wake up a magic dragon, and he can fucking kill you! Shit. If we're willing to accept magic Bluetooth earpieces, I think we'll believe just about anything. Wait. What's happened? I don't know. Something's wrong. No! Oh yeah, and the other dimension has a skating park too. Come, ladies. Welcome to Rugal's version of the tournament. Now, for some reason, Rugal started dressing in goofy costumes and joking around, which is completely out of character. Two on one, Rugal Bernstein versus Vice and Mature. Ooh, Rugal Even falls right on his ass while rollerblading around. This is the guy that's taking over the universe for Christ's sakes. Bring it. I will give this movie credit though, the special effect of his flaming kicks are pretty cool. Rugal beats them up because they don't have CGI effects, but instead of killing them, he brainwashes them into being his mindless servants. What have you done? Let's just say she's Bundy, and you're under contract. Oh yeah, he can brainwash people by kissing them. Did we mention that? Because he totally can. And with these fearsome lesbians under his control, Rugal has Vice here call up all the other fighters and tells them to disregard the previous warning. The warning coming from the person running the tournament. Yeah, I just got out of the tournament. I know, but it's fine. Rugal has improved the gameplay. I'm sorry, did we just forget about that whole plot about freeing the Orochi from the other dimension? You remember that? So Rugal can gain unlimited power? Because it doesn't really seem like Rugal's all that concerned about getting that third artifact. He never even mentions it again after losing it the first time, or sends his minions to get it. In fact, when he takes it away from Kyo at the end of the movie, he fucking breaks it! That was the one thing you needed to rule the fucking universe! And where the hell is Terry Bogart in this fucking King of Fighters movie? Terry Bogart, CIA. Not so fast there, Super Geek. I need some answers. Scott, give Mr. Bogart the laptop. Yes, Scott. Okay, that's it. I quit. Rugal's hiding in the tournament dimension. He's been consumed by the Orochi, and he's trying to lure fighters in there to kill them. Okay. Why is that? So he can be king of fighters. King of fighters? What does that even fucking mean? I thought he wanted to become a god! Why is Terry Bogart a fucking prickish CIA agent? This is wrong on every conceivable level! You know what? If they won't do Terry Bogard right, I will. So he can be king of fighters. Other dimension, king of tooth fairies. Get serious! Get ready! Go back! Yes! Hey, come on, come on! Scott, give Mr. Bogard the laptop. You dead! Terry wants some answers because Rugal's been killing people left and right. Although how he knows that and has pictures of the body since they're all being murdered in another dimension is a complete mystery. String of bodies. All members of this tournament. Gosh, those fight scenes must have been really brutal and violent. Too bad we never saw them in your fighting movie! Yeah, you tried to kill my father. Well, we have to stop him. The only way is to find the sword. Sword? A sword. Oh, wow! Where could the lost sword of the Kusanagi clan possibly be? It's been lost for a thousand years, and even museum historians couldn't- Oh, the kid just has under his bed. <laughs> Rugal would have never thought to look there. And get this, Mai's also working for the CIA as an undercover agent investigating the King of Fighters tournament. Even though up until this point, as far as I can tell, they're not actually doing anything even remotely illegal. And really, since it's not even taking place on Earth, they don't seem to be doing anything at all. Probably hit you because you went AWOL and you didn't disclose your involvement in a secret interdimensional underground fighting tournament. No, wait a minute. That's why I hate you. I hate you. Take it easy! And even though she's been undercover for years, she never thought it important enough to tell her boss that they all possess technology that allows people to cross to a previously unknown fucking dimension and presents the opportunity for unfathomable scientific discovery? Did that never seem relevant to you, Mai? Look, I don't know what's going on with these things. After I saw what it did to the Kusanagi kid, I had to do something. 
So you used Chizuru's list to steal them from the fighters? Sorry. Yeah, maybe instead of confiscating all the fighters' earpieces, which, by the way, took place entirely off camera and assumes the CIA have agents placed worldwide that are able to subdue and take property from the greatest fighters in the world, maybe he should have gotten them all together to enter the fighting dimension at the same time and murder Rugal. Instead, just a few of them go in there, get jumped, and immediately split up to get picked off by Rugal and his lesbians. When my world expands and merges with yours, this will be the real world. I'll be king of everything. I'm invincible. Do you ever get the feeling this movie went through like four rewrites? The first one was having everyone fight in the Matrix so they could explain everyone's silly video game costumes. And then they were like, wait a minute, Rugal can't take over the world from the Matrix. So then they made it a parallel dimension where he's trying to free a demon. And now they're trying to rip off Mortal Kombat because now Rugal wants to merge Outworld with Earthrealm. Why? I really don't know. It might help if this dimension's geography were even vaguely defined. I mean, there's a freezer, a skate park, a dojo, uh, Hill Valley from Back to the Future Part 2. I mean, what's the deal with this place? Where did all this shit come from? Do you know what this place is? This was your father's favorite dilemma. It was inevitable Ray Park was going to get a quarter staff in this movie, wasn't it? Come on, this is boring. Let's mix it up a bit. I don't know. Too violent. Ooh. A bit barbaric, isn't it? Hey. To Donkey Kong. To Final Fantasy. To Jazzy. <laughs> hey, come on, come on! Power down! <laughs> crack shoot! Crack shoot! I okay! Hey you! Power Kaza! Go back! Power away! Rising Taku! Changing! Match Mamu attack! Hit up! Get serious! Are you okay? Basta Wolf! Hey you! Go back! Sorry. So touching. It's good to see the team back together again. Okay, now wait a minute. Since when could she do that? This movie has no fucking rules. Not so fast, Rugal. Chizuru, you've been busy. And I see you brought toys. It took some time, but we found the remaining pieces. Me and my clones managed to steal the artifacts back from Rugal off camera. Good thing he didn't keep them safe or guard them in any way. Yeah, Chizuru can split into clones of herself, because shut up, she can. Not that it does her any good, though, because Rugal takes her out again in one punch. I'm too powerful now. Your precious treasures won't work on me! Rugal! Ah! Is there no one here to challenge me? Hadouken! Hadouken! Hey you! Best wolf! Kick back! Hey, come on, come on! Crack shoot! <laughs> Power down! So Rugal breaks the magic sword, and all seems lost, but Kyo is saved at the last minute by inspirational flashbacks! <laughs> Kyo gained the power of Deus Ex Machina! And in the end, Rugal is defeated, and our heroes return home. Kyo decides to restart the tournament with honor and dignity. Ah! A ghost! Ah! Ah! Well, aside from the restless spirits of the dead walking the earth, it seems the power of the Orochi is broken and everything's just hunky-dory. Or is it? Ah!
You know, in a way, it doesn't even really matter if this was a good movie or not, because regardless, it completely rapes the King of Fighters game series, and the name is the only reason people would have watched it. Ray Park is the only good thing about this movie, as he's an incredibly talented martial artist, and you can tell he's the only guy having any fun with his role at all. I simply cannot comprehend how you drop the ball on a series this simple. This is not an elaborate storyline with richly nuanced characters. This is King of Fighters, for Christ's sakes. The only video game series with less of a plot was DOA, and it, well, at least this one seems to have chicks with big boobs. Am I stealing your squad? Yes, sir. Type in the password. No. Scott, there's a cell in Gitmo with your name on it. Type in the password. Well, the CIA can't do that anymore. Yeah, I know. Sucks.